Here are six other ways to say you bluffed me. We can say you bluffed me when we're describing how someone was untruthful to us. Someone tried to make us believe something that was false and we believed them. Hmm. It's very common to hear bluff. You bluffed, he bluffed, she bluffed, I bluffed her, you bluffed me when we're talking about poker. Because in this game, the players get cards and the other players can't see their cards. So depending on the situation, a player might want the other players to think he has strong cards or maybe weak cards. Okay, let's see an example using you bluffed me. I played great. Do you know how I beat you? Well, I think it's obvious. You bluffed me. I thought you had two aces, but you had a two and a nine. That's how you won. You bluffed me. In this situation, this guy with the sunglasses, he won, right? He beat me at poker. And he's like, I played great. You know how I beat you? And I found out, right, that he didn't actually have the cards that I thought he had. I thought he had two aces, but he had a two and a nine. And maybe he played and he bet and he raised and he put more chips in the pot to make it think that he had really good cards. But he didn't. He bluffed me and he won. Okay, let's do six other ways to say you bluffed me. Number one. The car I sold you was in great condition when you bought it. Stop complaining. Are you kidding? The moment I took your car, it broke down. You tricked me. The steering wheel fell off. The oil leaked from underneath the car. And the, the gas tank exploded. <sighs> Number two. Don't be so upset. I'll make sure to pay you next week. I'm a responsible guy. Boss, I'm trying to stay calm, but you deceived me. You've been telling me over and over that you'll pay me next week. And so you told me the same thing right now. I think I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> Number three. You'll be promoted next month, I swear. What? Don't you trust me? No, I don't trust you. You keep telling me the same thing. You'll be promoted. Huh? You'll be promoted. Huh? But it never happens. You lied to me. And you keep lying to me. I think I'm going to have to take the position with another company. Number four. I'd like to say I feel bad about cheating on you, but I don't want to lie. What? You misled me. I thought I was the only one, the only one you loved, but it turns out you have five other boyfriends. I don't know what I'm going to do. Number five. I know I promised you 40% of the profits, but things change. Also, I'm the one holding the gun here. Well, you cheated me, but I understand you have a nice, beautiful gun in your hand. You keep the 40%. It's okay. Just please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Number six. I warned you that Tom can't be trusted. Why did you invest all your money? Are you kidding? You told me the opposite. You told me Tom could be trusted. You fooled me. I put all my money in the deal because it sounded great. 
You gave me information saying that it was great and that Tom was a wonderful guy? Did you take my money? All right. Remember, we can say you bluffed me when we're describing how someone was untruthful to us. Someone tried to make us believe something that was false, and we believed them. It's very common to hear, you bluffed, he bluffed, or she bluffed me, or some way to use the verb bluff in poker, because it's very common for the players to misre misrepresent their cards and try to make the other players think they even have better cards or maybe they have worse cards. So it's very common in poker. Hmm? Okay, so let's review. Let's review the other ways that we can say, you bluffed me. Number one, you tricked me. Number two, you deceived me. Number three, you lied to me. Number four, you misled me. Number five, you cheated me. Number six, you fooled me. It was not a good day. Okay, in this lesson we did six other ways to say you bluffed me. Wonderful. Okay, see you soon.